Hi everyone. In this digital age, everything is dependent upon technology. It is very essential to teach students about how technology works and how they can communicate with computers. For schools, we have invented Codian, which covers all the aspects regarding coding. Codian is a very compact hardware appliance through which you can teach coding in classroom as well as in computer lab. That too in complete offline mode. So this is a Codian hardware. It's a very compact hardware and uh, it's just the size of your trade card. So uh, it comes with the four USB ports. There is a, a micro HDMI port. Then you have a power supply port. Okay. It's a very compact device. You can easily carry this device from one classroom to another classroom or in computer lab. Then these are small Codian PSCs, pocket size computers. And with the help of these pocket size computers, you can create real life activities and applications. You can create gadgets as well. So this first activity, as you can see here, uh, this is beating heart. So we can write the program and on this hardware, we can see that the heart is beating. So this is so fantastic that whatever you are writing, you can also display that on this Codian PSCs. The next activity that you can see here is this. So it actually uh, senses the sound. So let me clap here. Right. So it is actually detecting the sound intensity of the sound. The third activity that we have is to monitor the temperature. Whatever the temperature is there in the room, you can check. So currently it is 30 degree Celsius and if you want to check in Fahrenheit, it is 86 degree Fahrenheit. So such kind of activities we can create. Moving to the next activity that we have is this light sensor. So if I'm dimming it, the display is gone. Right? Uh, moving to the next activity that we have here is the step count. Right? Currently we can see many gadgets where those, those gadgets or watches uh, do step count here as well. If, you, if it is moving in your pocket, it is going to count how many steps have you taken. And then we also have one activity with the help of which you can actually check the touch. So if I'm going to touch here, the display is going to change. See. So these are the activities which comes with Codian and we call them Codian PSCs. You can create infinite number of activities with the help of Codian PSCs. Two Codian PSCs can communicate with each other using radio waves. So it is very easy for anyone to make them communicate. Then we can also detect the direction using compass sensor in Codian PSCs. Now Codian comes with 350 plus activities and a student can create n number of activities, infinite number of activities using Codian and Codian PSCs. Codian comes with India's first reprogrammable robot, Emo. Students can write programs and control this amazing robot the way they want. Students can write program to move Emo in linear motion. Students can write program to move Emo in non-linear motion. And student can write program to rotate Emo. There can be n number of ways to do cool stuff with Emo by just writing few lines of code. Now students can write program and implement their creativity right away. Now let's go to the lab and see other languages and features of Codian. So now we will see that how can we use Codian in computer lab. So in computer lab, what you need to do, you need to connect Codian device with a Wi-Fi router that comes along with the kit. Now this Wi-Fi router creates an offline network. With that network, you can actually connect different different computers with Codian. So once it is connected, just open your uh, browser, any browser 
and on the browser you can see the dashboard of the codeian when you will scroll down you will see the different languages that we provide along with codeian so we have visual programming c language c++ python ai ml and robotics so visual programming is specifically for students from grade 1 till 8th so let's see a program of visual programming so what you need to do click on visual programming and now you can select the grade in which you want to teach the student so let's pick an activity from grade 1 once you will click on the grade you will see the activities and you can start uh, any of the activity so these are sequential uh, activity based upon the difficulty level so let's pick this activity named as talk to elephant so once you will click on the activity it is going to take few seconds to load and you will see the activity in action so here one one of the most wonderful thing is that you don't need to create this activity from scratch already this activity is there teacher just need to guide the student that how this activity is formed now why, why we call this visual programming because visually you can see every single thing this is the panel where you can drop any kind of block we call it block as well so you can drop any kind of block here and you here you can see the output as well so generally in text based programming it is only black and white right but it is very colorful here in visual programming so let me run this program and here this child is having a word with the elephant right so students from your school can upload their picture as well here in visual programming and you can hear this sound as well now let's see some other activities as well so this was an activity from grade first we can uh, see an activity from uh, grade 8 so the, all these activity the teachers need to require uh, need to put a very minimal effort but with that minimal effort they can actually teach students very effectively reason being that all the activities are here everything is covered so this is a game now a student from grade 8 can create this game i used to play this game when i was in, uh, during my childhood okay so you can see this is an interactive game which students can create so this is something fun now this is what visual programming is all about and uh, student from class 1 till 8 can learn and if you want you can actually restrict this uh, visual programming till grade 5 as well depending upon the choice of the school now we have text based programming so in text based programming let's go to c language so here we have actually provided the graded, graded curriculum in concepts so uh, this is data type and variable then you have macros uh, constants field width operators decision making so you can pick any program of uh, any concept and you can see the program is already made it here already loaded here and uh, if you want to uh, see the script you can click click here and uh, if you want to see the output run the code and you will see the output here in the output panel now if you want to go back let's go back to the home screen so this is c programming uh, similar to c programming we have c plus plus as well here as well we have actually divided the uh, syllabus in concepts so let's see a program of loop concept so this is the program that is made here and let's click on run the code when we will click on run the code it is going to give the output so students who are in grade 9 10th 11th 10th uh, 12th can easily learn with the help of this and they can create their own programs as well it's not like that whatever is given here they have to only uh, do that particular activity they can create the, their own activity so in codian we also provide ai and ml which is very unique because ai and ML, ml is something which is used by leading companies across the world so students who have already completed c c++ python now can learn ai ml so what they need to do just click on ai ml and here you can see the activities now these are very high level activities so as you can see emotion recognition so the first activity is emotion happy second activity is emotion sad third activity is emotion surprise so here you can actually detect what is the emotion that has been portrayed in the picture that you are uploading then we have detection as well 
So there is eye detection and tracking, then we have face detection, mouth detection, nose detection. So let's see an activity of uh, face detection. So uh, here you can see uh, this is a picture which is already uploaded here and this is the code. So again teacher do not require to write any code first and then teach. Already everything is here. They can just see and then they can refer their students that how this script is written. Now if you will click here on run the code, it is going to take few seconds and it is going to give the result. So where is the face? This is the face and how it is marked? It is actually uh, given a border, rectangular uh, uh, square border around the face. So this is how you can use uh, AIML. So apart from detection, we have object recognition. In object recognition, you can recognize apple, bicycle, dog, horse. Text recognition can also be done here. Okay. So these are some activities that we are providing in AIML and it's not limited. These are for the reference for the teachers to teach. Student can be very creative and they can create their own activities here in Codian. Coming to last but not the least uh, part of Codian, which is a recently act, uh, included feature or language that is robotics. We are uh, covering robotics as well here. So robotics uh, is also, I mean, uh, I can uh, say this is a hardware based programming here. A student can write the code and then they can see what they have written in a hardware. So as you can see the activity here, basic introduction. So a student can write hello world and then they can uh, import this activity in the hardware device itself. Then there are activity related to images. So angry, then uh, you have uh, happy, then you have house, rabbit, smile. So let me do one thing here. Uh, so. Uh, first thing here is that this is uh, Codian PSC. So what you need to do, just pick this up and connect this Codian PSC with the system. So when you will connect, it is going to open this window. Okay. Now if you have uh, written a program in robotics, so just click on that particular program. The program is already here. So what you need to do, click on download. As you will download this, the file is going to get downloaded in the download section. Open this uh, program, copy this and just paste this here. So once you will paste this program here, you can actually run that program on the Codian PSC. So you can see this is uh, a heartbeat. So you can see a heart is beating here. So there are different activities that we are covering here in Codian. Uh, let's go back. So these are the kind of activities that we are covering in Codian in robotics. Then we have buttons as well, counter, dice, emotion badge, uh, flashing emotions, then we have pins. So all these activities are here and these are not, I mean, these are around 72 activities that we are providing, but it's not limited. Students can create any activity, what they like, it's up to their uh, imagination, their skills that they are uh, developing with the help of Codian. So these are the activities that we cover in uh, robotics of Codian. Let's come back to the screen. So. Basically, what we are providing here is six languages. Visual programming, C, C++, Python, AIML and robotics. This is something which is uh, not provided uh, by anyone across the world. And this is a complete offline product, which helps the students to stay focused while they are doing programming. Usually what happens that when students are learning, they are also indulged in other activities like surfing on uh, internet or watching videos on YouTube. But because this is completely offline, they will just do their programming here. They can download these activities, they can work on these activities on hardware that we are providing Codian PSC. So this is a comprehensive product uh, that we are providing to meet the need of coding for the schools. So that is Codian for you. Codian covers all your coding need teaching coding from class 1 to 12 and that too in offline mode.
as government of india has mandated that it is important to teach coding from class 6 to 12th so what are you waiting for call us and install codian now